All right, it's uh, Gridiron here, and uh, we're going to do something completely different today. It's not a flight sim. It is uh, Firewatch. <laughs> so I picked this up. It was on sale. I got it for like six bucks or something. Um, and I got, well, I got it with Tacoma as well. Uh, and it's like, I guess it's supposed to be like a, a thriller or something, like a mystery kind of a game. Um, but uh, I figured this would be a, a really interesting thing to check out. Now, I forgot to turn the game audio on. There we go. Um, <laughs> and yeah, make a, maybe uh, make a, a video of me playing this. Um, and just throw it up on my channel. Have some fun. Uh, see if anyone finds it interesting. Uh, I'm not going to talk very much. Uh, I hate when I'm watching like a Let's Play or something and the, the dude's just talking, 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 talking. Um, so it's going to be light commentary. And uh, I really am going into this completely blind. I have no idea what this game is really about. Um, I missed it when it was big, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through it now, and uh, it should be pretty interesting. So uh, I'm gonna start a new game here, and we'll see we'll see what's up. Oh, I guess I have to pick a slot. Okay, slot one. I like the font. <laughs> Takes place in 1975. I'm supposed to click something? I guess not. Oh, yes, I am. approach that girl. <laughs> uh, in real life, I would do that one. You are not. <laughs> you are not. Get it. Whoa. Okay, cool. Oh, see, that's a nice touch. You look down and you actually see your body. That's pretty sick. I like that. Okay, I'm impressed so far, guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> now the thriller shit starts. This is going to be like that Half-Life 2 mission where you had to go through the sewer with the head crab guys. Okay, go in there. I'm guessing there's probably some invisible wall up here. Swole as hell. Load gear. Do I have gear? Oh, yeah, I guess I do. She does. You know what? Uh, I would prefer the German Shepherd. <laughs> Oh man, it's the 
trap. It's the trap, guys. <laughs> the kid trap. Um. Oh, man. I would say... Why rush? That biological clock's ticking in this girl, man. Graphics in this game are really cool. I like the uh, cell shaded look. I think it's going to downplay the fact that some scary shit's gonna happen. <laughs> Show off the gains. You look awesome, thank you. This part's probably us going to work. Um, it's probably telling us the backstory, and then this part is probably us showing up at the ranger cabin or whatever. Fire lookout, eight miles up. This is 
a very morose story. Um, it doesn't tell us what we've done, what we do for work, so I guess... Convincing her not to take the job would be like a jerk move. So I guess agree if she moves back and forth. I mean, I would probably just move. She has some sort of mental issue or disease. Stuck in place, so I guess I'm sitting down. I guess I'm just meant to read this journal. Oh, it's her journal. She's from Australia, I guess. Uh, but she gets worse, eh? Hey? This is tragic. Driving to other, like, cities or villages, then yeah, you'd have to put her in a full-time care facility. Can't handle that shit as one man. This also must mean I must be over, well over 41. I look pretty good for 41. Oh, shit. Was not expecting that. It's just 
destroying my relationship with my friends. What? Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. What good would a typewriter do? Expecting so much run up for the uh, for the story. I've watched uh, back when this actually came out. I've watched like let's plays for it, and I don't remember all of that. Um, the videos I watched just basically launched right into the thing. But that's cool. That's uh, a very sad story. So uh, I guess we've reached the park lookout, because I guess I'm a park ranger. So I wonder if this is going to end up being like my base for the rest of the game. This is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's, a weird it's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then, can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Hmm. The voice acting in this is excellent. I will say that. The male's voice I recognize from somewhere. Good morning, Henry. Well... I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. How can she see me at my desk? It's kind of creepy. Um, answer the radio call. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. 
You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I don't know what <laughs> direction west is right now. Oh, and he's the compass. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? It's, uh, that one's west. Seriously, are you seeing this? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. Okay, um... I guess I... do I need to bring anything? Shows me. Okay. I wonder if I can run. I don't think I can. Oh, a job, yeah, R. There we go. on the supply box. Great. Take the rope.
people just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear-proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Um... I guess... Oh, that's cool. Cherry and almond. I guess we'll just eat it. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you like to take me into the park. Let's get fucked with that. Okay. So. All right, well, that's that. This game is a really cool ambiance. I really like it. I'm impressed. And it feels really nice at <laughs> 144 hertz. <laughs> okay, so here's where we're gonna need that rope. Shell slide, it's steep. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, this is some crazy shit to be doing at, like, 45 years old. How do I put it? Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. I think this is a cigar. Anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Jason Seagal, I think, is the uh, voice actor. I could be wrong. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little way from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Oh yeah, here's the shit. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Save that for later, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Let's put up the fire. Okay, let's go deal with the idiots. Oh, shit. Oh, Finding a bunch of empty beer cans, they threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. People are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no.
found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Confiscate. Uh, just a second. I just have to close my BitTorrent. Okay. Sorry about that. It's really hard to get used to R being run. Ew. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you <laughs> Party handle time. that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Don't threaten us. Yeah. Who the hell are you, creep? <laughs> He's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Why do guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? That was more aggressive than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Whoa, hey, put that down! Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down! We won't light anymore! Thank you! Now leave us alone! You're a creep! Total creep! Go get a girlfriend, creep! Oh my god. Okay. That was interesting. Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. See if I can remember what way I came. Oh, we can't get back up that way. Can we? Uh, nope, we can't. We're gonna have to go around. I bet that's why we found this thing back here. Ooh. I guess we have to go back up that Thunder Canyon thing and come back around. I don't know how else you'd do it. Uh 
Oh, it doesn't let me go that way. I can't go up this way. So I bet I do have to go around. Yeah. This is like walking simulator. <laughs> the first half of walking simulator. I wonder if I'm supposed to clean all these up. Okay, well I'm not going to, so <laughs> that deals with that. Parkour. Ranger parkour. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um... I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, yo. I think she's gonna be a romance thing. I also think she's gonna turn out to like not be real or something. Cause that's what always happens in these games. If you played Gone Home, <laughs> that was like a huge tease. It's exactly that kind of a thing. Um, hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Mm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Ugh! What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Oh my god, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. 
Oh, I'm just gonna let her have that one. Ah, oh, sweet. Doesn't work though. Ah! Oh, there we go. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay. So this, this shit here is pretty important, but I don't know. Uh, so cache 303. So I guess you have to take this and cross-reference it with what's on here. Okay, so we're at cache 303 right now. So, um... So there's some gate we're supposed to fix, I think. Somewhere along here. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! Okay, so along this, like, after this, we have to go through this cave. After the cave, there's this windy road. There's something on the windy road we have to fix. So first we have to get through this cave. So I guess we can use the flashlight for that. Yeah. Hello! Probably a bad idea. It's probably a terrible idea, as a matter of fact. Press key available at a ranger station. Frozen. Okay, here we go. That was weird. Uh, gate to K552. It is locked. So I guess we're supposed to come there later. I guess there's something in there.
There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. That's creepy as shit, by the way. If anyone wants to know <laughs> what that was, it was creepy as shit. This isn't dangerous at all. Jesus. I could not just free climb this. I don't know how fit you guys are, but uh, <laughs> I could certainly not free climb this. isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Ah. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. My typewriter get down here. 
Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You write? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. This music isn't helping. Now we're getting to the creepy shit. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. Oh. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Wow. That is pretty unsettling. I will say that. <laughs> it doesn't help that like everyone else in the game is represented as just like black figures. Except you. <laughs> 